Greetings, I'm Berndt and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. Today we're just going to do a quick unboxing video. I happened to pick this up at my local friendly gaming store called The Gaming Goat out in Woodbury, Minnesota. And I know this game's been out for a while. It came out in 2017. It's called Tomb of Annihilation. It's the board game. It's kind of based on the Dungeon Dragons type franchise. It's designed by Kevin Wilson and is a WizKids product. I did get a chance to pick up the Premiere Edition. I've been kind of looking to try to get a hold of this game for a while, and this happened to have a really good sale on it down there. So I went to pick it up, and here it is. It's uh, got pre-painted miniatures in it for me. I do like to paint miniatures, but sometimes my backlog, get, I get so backlogged on miniatures, and those that paint miniatures a lot probably kind of understand that. And so I wanted to kind of wait till I could get a chance to get a hold of this with the painted miniatures. Now this game, is part of what they call their adventure series. So there's already some out there based on this game or in this series from Dungeons and Dragons. All those are, what, from what I gather, are compatible with each other, but this is like the newest one. It came out just in 2017, being new, relatively new, I guess. So with that being said, I'm gonna cut open the box and we're gonna go through this box and see what's in it. Um, there are some unboxing videos already out on the internet I'll kind of put some of those in the link if I can find any. I do know there's some great playthroughs of this game. Um, one of them, I, One Stop Co-op Shop did a playthrough of Tomb of Annihilation, and it was really well done. You should go and check that one out. Also, I believe Doug Herring also did a Tomb of Annihilation playthrough. Also, give that a shot. Give a look at that. That one was really good. Also, Rob's Tabletop World did a live playthrough of this. I would check that out as well. I'm going to put a link to all those playthroughs in the description below. So please take a look at it if you want to. I'm also hoping to do a playthrough of this game soon, but I got a couple other things I'm thinking about putting on the table first. If you really want to see a playthrough of this, put it in the comments below, or if you just want me to move on to something else, that's fine too. Either way, let me know or don't let me know, and if I don't get any comments, I'll just probably move on to another game. But I do hope to get this to my channel at some time. I used to play Dungeons and Dragons quite a bit when I was younger. Sadly, as time went on, the game, the Dungeons & Dragons game itself just kind of moved on, but I've come back to it now through tabletop games and with some of the gaming groups I have through tabletops, which is kind of fun. So I still get that feel of what I've missed in my past, and it's fun to actually play these type of games. So now, let's get to opening this box and see what's in it. So I'm going to take the shrink wrap off and we're going to open it up. All right, I got the shrink wrap off the box. Uh, just a couple things I want to go over from the back of the box. It is 60 minutes long, give or take, for an adventure. It's for up ages 14 or up, and it's for one to five players. There's a lot of different components and stuff. Oh, here's the rest of their adventure series that I was talking about, at least a couple of them. There's a few other ones. I know Ravenloft was their first one. I can't remember what their second one was. I think it had to do with the dragon. It was like as all I'm... I'm it's not definitely not Azrael. That's a <laughs> the cat from Smurfs, but it's something of that nature. Um, they have the Legend of Drizzt, which I probably pronounced wrong, and I apologize. And they have the Temple of Elemental Evil. All those, from what I understand, can all be implemented together in these games. I believe you can use like the characters and stuff throughout all the different adventures, and I think you can bring some of the monsters through. I'm not exactly sure. If I'm wrong about that, go ahead and correct me in the comments below. But I think that's how it worked. So now that the shrink wrap's off, let's go ahead and open the box itself and see what's inside. All right. Looks like we've got the manual first. So let's take a look at this. All right, and that bag was uh, available now. It looks like a <laughs> an ad of some kind. But then we get the adventure book. Probably should bring it to focus here. And this is, I believe, going to go through all our adventures, and it's going to tell us everything we need, how the adventures go through. Here's your rule book. I'm pretty excited about this. And then, oh, here's a thing for the figure reference sheet. So I know what monsters are which and which are actually heroes. That's kind of cool. Villains, monsters, heroes tells me what, what I'm looking at. Not too bad. We've got, what is this thing? Oh, this thing looks sweet. Let's see what the heck this is. It is a giant thingamajigger. Let's see what it says in the back. It says stone juggernaut. That thing's pretty beasty. Awesome. All right, I'm going to put them right there for now. There are lots of cards. I'm not going to go through all these cards at this point. There are some miniatures. Let's look at these guys. 
I haven't really had a chance to look at these online, so let's take a look at them here. These are, I'm going to guess some of the villains of some kind. Here is a wizard dude. I'm guessing he's the one of the bad guys. I'm going to guess he is not one of the heroes. And they are pre-painted already, and they're not bad. I like it. Good enough for me. I'll take it. We got some other miniatures. These all look really small. What are these? I have no idea. We'll have to play to find out. Um, here, there's just bags and bags of miniatures. I'm not going to go through every one of these miniatures. Um, if you want me to show you every one of them, I have no problem redoing this and showing you some of these. Now, a <laughs> Let's look at this guy. He's a big giant, well, almost monkey dude of some kind. Pretty awesome. There's a, <laughs> I'm guessing this guy really is a big fan of gray. If he's all gray. What does he play? A gray gargoyle? Giant four armed gargoyle. Ah, it was pretty close. Pretty cool. All right. So we're going to put the miniatures back in here. It comes with one die. How about that? That's fantastic. And the stuff you're not supposed to eat. We'll put that over there. Hopefully my kid doesn't find it. I'm kidding. I'm going to throw it away as soon as I'm done here. There is a lot of cardboard material in this. Wow. Another string of shrink wrap. I'm going to take this shrink wrap off and we'll start going through this. All right. Here's all that cardboard material. Let's see what we got. It looks like here's our heroes, four of them. Um, use your healing surge token to revive a hero that has been reduced to zero hit points. Must be some kind of rule of some kind. All right, um, let's look through these different things. These are all falling out. Here's the great ape. So here's the, some of the enemies. Cool, more tokens. Here's the dungeon tiles and some of the traps. Those that have played these games before might recognize some of this stuff. Tell you the truth, I have not played any of these, but I've really heard good things about this one, which is why I wanted to pick it up. Here's more dungeon tiles. Since I know they are standalone games, I'm not too worried about missing out on some of the other ones. If you, if you actually have played the other ones and you thought they were really good, I'd love to hear some ideas and comments about that in the video in this, <laughs> in below, the, in below the video. Because I wouldn't mind picking up some more if you think it's really worth it. But I don't know. I've never played any of these. Wow, there's a tile after tile. It seems like it's always just a few tiles, some punch boards. Wow, lots of stuff here. Unbelievable. I am really looking forward to this game as I smash this into my camera. Punch board after punch board. I bet you're getting sick of seeing punch boards. What's this? Oh, yeah, here. This is probably the main bad guy. Here he is. He's got his punch board. I'm not going to look at him. I'm a big fan of not really knowing what's coming, so a lot of times I don't even look at some of the stuff that is in punch boards because I don't want to get too spoiled by it. Though I know sometimes it's just too hard and you're going to have to see it no matter what you do. So those are all the punch boards. Here's some of the cards. I'm just going to quick show some of them off, but I don't know how much I'm going to spend on them. I'm probably going to need to take my razor blade to it though because this thing isn't opening. And I look like a moron standing here trying to do this, not to mention you're hearing Russell, 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 Russell. So we got different trap cards, different treasure cards, monster cards. And yeah, they tell you kind of about the monster. The encounter deck, more trap spells, ice storm, more treasures. So these are kind of just all the cards. Pretty awesome. Powers. Okay, so here's some of the cool things I'm guessing. Here's your powers you're eventually going to get to use. I'm Daily powers, alt utility powers. I said thought said ultra powers. I thought that was gonna be pretty awesome. Um, at will power, I'm gonna have to go through the rules and kind of completely to understand completely what these are. I don't know what a lot of this stuff does. I ha like I said, I haven't played the other ones, so I don't have a lot of background in these. But this game just I've heard so many good things about it. I had to get a hold of this and try to play it. So that's really some of the cards. I'm, I mean, I'm not really showing you the back. I probably should. Fire shield, mage armor, haste. I'm guessing these are all very similar to their D&D &D counterparts. Sleep, I'm going to guess that puts people to sleep. I, I, I kind of hopefully figured that one out. So that's some of the stuff. Um, and that's, that's really just the unboxing of Two of Annihilation. Um, I'm looking forward to playing this. And like I said, if you want to see this game played on my channel, I have no problem playing it. I'd love to play it. Um, if, I, if you don't and you want to hear, watch some of the other stuff I've got coming up, that's great too. Uh, feel free to put anything you want in the comments below. I'd love to hear from all of you. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. You'll know when our next videos are out. 
Next video is not going to be an unboxing video. It's actually a playthrough video. So hopefully I'll get to that pretty soon. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see this or any other playthrough that I do, I hope you will meet me at the table.